Hello everyone, my name is Kenneth Lightley, and I've been coerced into producing a video log of my thoughts. I do hope you can understand me clearly. It is so difficult to record video here. I'm not sure I would have ever chosen to record a video log if it was my decision. It's just attention-seeking, really, isn't it? Like those awful talent contests on the television. I've seen them all, you know. My wife watches the television all the time because she is very ill. I made her that way with chemicals and a piece of wood. The worst program is the singing one, where the horrible fat people have told their children they are talented, and they are liars, because their children are not talented, and they stand in front of the camera and wail and grunt and shake, all the while thinking they are Britney Spears. And the creature Simon Cowell and his unspeakable friends watch it all, and then tell the child that they are the worst singer who has ever existed in all known universes. And then the child bursts into tears and runs out to the horrible fat parents, and they all say that the creature Simon Cowell is a cruel and ignorant beast who knows nothing. And then they say that the child will continue to follow their dream and will prove him wrong. But that never happens, of course because truly the child is a dreadful singer, and they have just made themselves look mentally ill in front of several million viewers. Their future does not include fame. It now consists mostly of Prozac, cakes, and disability benefit. Why would parents delude their children in such a cruel manner? Surely if they do it to boost the child's confidence, they would stop before they publicly humiliate themselves. Perhaps the parents themselves are deluded, and truly believe that little Kylie's offbeat caterwauling is quality entertainment. I am not at all sure, but I do know I would love to watch them die. I worry that this video log will in some way bring ridicule upon myself, but that is arrogance, really, because deep down I know very few people will watch it. And I would say my situation couldn't possibly get any worse, but you know as well as I do that there's no bottom floor in hell. Hmm, but now I think perhaps video logging isn't like a talent show at all, because talent shows have a big prize you can win if you fit the target's demographic. You can win pots of money and get famous, but it is a double-edged sword because if you win, then the creature Simon Cowell gets to keep your soul, and you have to dance and sing for him, so he gets richer and fatter, and then after one hit song, he drops you like a hot stone, and you're relegated to singing at universities for drunk students who only attend for the irony value. Unless he's sexually attracted to you, and then he'll find something for you to do, but you'll have to do it covered in his drool. There is no prize for being a popular video logger, is there? Maybe you could get some money from marketing husks who want to cash in on your brief popularity, but after that, what is there? Only Prozac, and cakes, and disability benefit. I think I must stop now. It's odd, but once you get going, it's hard to stop. Perhaps video logging is addictive. Risky and addictive, much like injecting cocaine directly into your eyeball. I do have more to say on this subject, but I really don't have control.